talk about the issues. His fate now lies in the hands of a jury. I'm talking about entertainment icon Kwesi Che Dakwa. He will be tried by jury. Hmm. This rape case keeps getting intense. We'll get into that. If you consider yourself a celebrity who appeals to children, maybe Steve? Mm -hmm. Steve, do you appeal to children? Mm -hmm. I can't <laughs> answer that. Well, be ready to lose some CDs. Yes, you are no longer allowed to endorse alcoholic beverages because it is against the law. All hail Ghana's most popular fisherman. Benjamin Eyi Mensa, a fisherman from Winneba, who put a freeze on the much-expected district-level elections. I will tell you how, after the break, I'm here for Aqua Harrison. Let's get interactive. Join us via all our social media platforms. We're on facebook.com forward slash join news on TV. You can also find us on Twitter. It's at join news on TV at JN Interactive GH. You can also find us via email. It's join news I am at multitvworld.com or we are on WhatsApp. The number is 54 So even though the 19-year-old victim has said she's no longer interested in pursuing the rape case, state prosecutors just won't let it go. Instead of it being a Rafi Thompson against pushing jail time for the entertainment icon, hmm, this man is really in hot water. So what can we expect from the trial who will constitute this jury and is it really necessary that is having this jury is it really necessary well my colleague Ani Osabute who has been following the case from Kwenkwe to Kankai welcome to Hi, JN Interactive yeah, and our first time on the set yeah with really you. is it with you oh really yeah. I thought you've been here before no with you with yes. me yeah. oh well welcome thank you okay uh -huh. so tell us who will constitute this jury I mean I watch a lot of TV so usually in another country I know there's jury duty but we do not have jury duty in Ghana right no we do but uh, just that we, we don't evoke them I okay. mean the understanding is that you know at every uh, judiciary year every year there's uh, a list of jurors that is prepared okay you know and put aside just in case anything of that sort comes up okay then you know that people that that, that those persons are invited to sit in and and and, and decide the fate of uh, somebody accused of let's say kkd for instance so that's a list it's, it's part of the judicial process every year they have that and it looks like this time around for the very first time so far as i'm concerned um i stand to be corrected anyway that we're going to have this particular process evoke. Mm. So the there's a list of people from where exactly? There's a from the community essentially, okay. from the community based on the discretion of the court. The judiciary they invites people. It could be teachers, it could be lawyers, it could be journalists, it could be opinion leaders in the community. So they actually go out into their community and exactly talk and, and, to and, 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 and fish these people okay. out by the right. idea of some good good standing okay. essentially. Okay. Is is this a necessary move right now? I mean, I'm sure you were surprised this today at court when you heard that this is coming up. Yeah. Essentially, I mean, if you look at the criminal court, the issue of trial on indictment itself, you know, uh, means that this particular jury process will have to take place. So you have to empanel seven people, essentially, like you said. And when these people are selected and they brought to the court, the accused person has the right to object to some of the names so for example we could say i don't like mr a i don't like mr b i don't like mr c he has is entitled to two three people that he can object to and then the rest will be so uh, for them their main job because they're not necessarily lawyers 
their, their, their job is similar to deal with the facts mm. of the matter. Mm. Then the judge who sits on the case will look at the law. Mm. So, for example, they'll look at the facts as has been prepared before them mm. to say, was there a rape or not? Was there a penetration or not? And all that. But then the judge will come in and apply the law to the process. Yeah. Mm. So in your opinion, if there is a jury, what will this mean for KKD? I, 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 for me, it's a gray area. Uh, I don't know what their mind will be. I don't really know what exactly is going to happen on the 22nd of April because that is when whether or not there will be an objection in the first place. Mm. It will be interesting, for example, to bring the list of jurors out and, 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 and for an objection to be raised. Mm. There will be no reason as to why, but maybe he said, I do not like Mr. A, Mr. B. You know, but uh, I've heard other people say, for example, that it's a good thing for him. I've equally heard other people to say that it's going to be very interesting because for, for me as a journalist who reports from the court, this is the very first time I'm going to say something like that. Normally we see them in movies, yeah. you know, but at this time around, you're right there in the court and you're seeing the issue. And these people are not necessarily, were not necessarily present mm. when the incident happened. So more or less like coming from a completely different yeah. community or perspective, yeah. mm -hmm. they were not present when the alleged rape or whatever happened. So for them, they are coming with essentially the information that they are purely based on the fact before them. Yeah, especially since Erefe Thompson may not testify. Is there a chance that she might change her mind? And well, um, you know, that particular part has not come up. And we, you speak to some of the lawyers today, for example, that I've been speaking to after the court, and they've and, and they been raising the same question. But, you know, if the state says that it has enough evidence, enough material to go ahead with the trial, well, it'll be interesting to see how, for example, the key witness, the key actor says, yeah. I'm not coming, and he says, I'm going to go ahead. And these are raising questions about subpoena. I'm not too sure about that. Mm. I don't really know whether they're going to subpoena it. But the question we're also asking is if you bring a subpoena to come. And she said that was no rape. Right? So that is they will sex. ask her to come by force, by exactly. court They're order. Through legal means. Okay. So right. granted that she comes and says, well, I was not rape, but it was consensual and move on. It crashes your case. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it develops. You know, KKD goes back to court on April 22nd, as Ani has uh, updated us. We posted on Facebook, and uh, some of your comments here, Jerry Harry Lawson Bakuri says, well, the laws must work as the saying goes, the, the acts must be God, no matter whose ox is being God. This is to serve as deterrent to others who may have similar motives and also serve as a check on behaviors on public figures. New Aqua, God knows, Billy says, though I feel pity for him, I think it will serve him right next time. He should go for his class. That's next time he should go for his class. Okay. Steve Cord says it's a pity what most of these so-called celebrities do to these girls because they don't have someone to fight for them, but this one will be punished. Francis Otson says, Woyo may self, they walk free, leave him alone. And Auntie Ama Papabi says, they will keep adjourning the case till the public even loses interest, then the case will die. In this country, money speaks at courts, not evidence. So these are a few of your comments coming through on social media about KKD going to be trialed by jury. It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Anyway, let's take what's trending. Hey, people. The Twitterverse is alive and buzzing tonight. Let's take a look at what people are talking about. KKD seems to be on people's minds today. The Wolf of Wall Street says a seven-member jury to try KKD? I mean, how? The state prosecutor should have been responsible for Woyome's case instead. It's complete trash. Manche Taki is surprised. Ghana really uses jury system? Ghana filler is quoting Morris Ampal, saying KKD must be jailed if found guilty. And Ebenezer Donko reports, legal team of KKD angry over delays by prosecutor. Another person who's creating buzz is Martin Amidou. Nime Ebo says, we appreciate you, Mr. Martin Amidou. Hashtag Red Friday. Hashtag Occupy Ghana. 
Hashtag bring back our money at prevailing interest rates. I can just picture Alaji Daben shaking his head as he says, Martin Namidu, that man. And Nana Sapong Ajiman says, bring back Martin ABK Amidu. Cut off Marietta Brew. Hashtag Red Friday. Loading. <laughs> I'll be back another day with What's Trending. That was Jennifer Jane Asante with What's Trending. Now, the anger and disappointment of thousands of district assembly aspirants is yet to dissipate after the district assembly elections were called off. The candidates had been gearing up for the elections scheduled for 3rd March, but it took just one fisherman to put the elections on hold. Now, my colleague Nia Kofi Ismat Abe met with the fishermen. His name is Benjamin A. E. Mensa. The man, popularly known in his community as Adishe, has seen a surge in his popularity recently, thanks in part to his case against the Electoral Commission. The Supreme Court on February 27 ruled that the district level elections scheduled for March 3 be suspended because the constitutional instrument used by the Electoral Commission had not matured. The Supreme Court also ruled that the EC starts the process all over again. Benjamin E. Mensa is not faced by critics who think he should be faulted for the huge cost of the postponement of the election. I went to the polling station on Sunday at 8.30 a.m. hoping to submit my forms, but there was no one there though a table had been set up. I went back around 11 a.m. Still, no one was available. I made about seven visits to the station, but I didn't meet anyone. When I went there for the last time at about 5.30 p.m., the setup was no longer available. He added the court became the only suitable option after all avenues to resolve the matter with the EC failed. I was very worried I could not submit my form because it meant I was being disenfranchised. So I hired a lawyer who wrote about four letters to the Electoral Commission asking them why they did not allow me to file my nomination. But they would not budge, so we decided to do whatever we could to get them to do what was right. Short of rendering an apology to his colleague as parents, Mr. Mensa said any of them could have suffered the same fate, hence the need to take steps to prevent a larger number of his parents from being disenfranchised. Up close and personal with Benjamin A. E. Mensa, and we posted on facebook.com forward slash join news on TV. The fisherman who sued the Electoral Commission says his action was to protect his political rights. Benjamin A. E. Mensa's case against the EC led to the suspension of the district level elections and cost the EC some 317 million CDs. Do you support his action? Sam Fiagbe says yes and no, yes to prove that any ordinary Ghanaian can have a say in the administration of the country. No, because he should have thought it wise to see the repercussions it will have on the state, even if he had lost the case. Ali Alhassan Sabato says, I agree with him. It is a step in the right direction. Nantoma Mahamadu Badun Sugri says, Badun Sugu, I beg your pardon, says yes to prove that all Ghanaians are equal and should be given equal treatment. Jerry Harry Lawson Bakuri says, well, this shows how far democracy has come as a country, even though the state might have incurred losses. But most importantly, this will serve as a wake-up call for all authorities when taking decisions. Majori Tremating says it costs us too much. Mensa Konto Stephen says he has done very well. Nuokpo, God knows, Billy says, though it costs us dearly, 
It serves as a wake-up call to our institutions and leaders that they can't stand up and do anything they like without following the Constitution. Ofori Atta says, it's only the wicked who will see his action to be bad. How can he allow this old man to infringe on his rights? Otu Eric says the AC has taken Ghanaians for granted for far too long. This case exposed the incompetence of our electoral commission. And I'll end with Fus Fuseni Abbas. He says, I think the right thing must be done no matter the outcome or the consequences. So these are a few of your comments coming through on social media about the man who led the AC or who caused the AC to suspend the district level elections, even though it costs them over 300 million CDs. Well, if you're a celebrity and you are popular with children, you can lose some money. We'll be telling you how and why after the break. Welcome back to Join News Interactive with me, Ifwa Akwa Harrison. We've been telling you a story about the fisherman who caused the cancellation of the district assembly elections. And then, of course, we also told you about uh, Kwesi Che Dakwa's case. He's going to be tried, trialed by a jury. And so those are some of the stories we've been looking at on Join News Interactive so far.